Yellowstone, massive hydrothermal eruption, Biscuit Basin banned in 2025. A sudden geological event has turned one of America's most popular tourist destinations into a high-risk area. Biscuit Basin, one of Yellowstone National Park's most dramatic geysers, is closed for the summer of 2025 due to a hydrothermal eruption that erupted from Black Diamond Pool on July 23, 2024, an ongoing seismic and eruptive activity in the area. Park officials are not taking the risk of tourists getting hurt. This eruption in particular touched deep into the... Just with the unbridled glory and majesty and power and the... On July 23, 2024, a hydrothermal eruption suddenly erupted at Black Diamond Pool in Biscuit Basin, one of the most visited areas in the park, which receives more than 4 million visitors each year. While such events are not uncommon in an area known for its natural geysers, the event on July 23 was particularly devastating. Hundreds of feet of boiling water, steam, and debris, destroying part of the tourist trail and scaring visitors. Fortunately, no injuries were reported. The most recent small explosions occurred on November 5, 2024, and January 3, 2025, during the winter, but activity is still ongoing. Following these events, the National Park Service and the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory decided to close the area completely for the summer of 2025 until further notice. In the meantime, the site is being monitored by authorities and scientists through sensors and webcams installed to detect possible and unexpected seismic and hydrothermal changes. According to experts, the explosions were caused by a buildup of pressure beneath an impermeable silica barrier, a situation comparable to a natural pressure cooker. The concern is not the event itself, but the power and unpredictability of the phenomenon. The geothermal system remains active and unstable. The impact on tourism and the local economy will be significant. Closing the area will disrupt tourist travel plans and hurt local businesses, such as hotels, restaurants, and tour operators.
Therefore, those planning to visit Yellowstone should check the park website for up-to-date information and official notices, where closed areas, detours and warning signs may be posted, in keeping with the principles of responsible tourism. There is no doubt that the Biscuit Basin eruption marks a turning point for Yellowstone and its visitors. The summer of 2025 will be different, not just for tourists, but also for the growing awareness of the risks involved in exploring the wilderness. Yellowstone is one of the largest volcanoes on Earth. It sits atop a supervolcano, meaning it has the potential to erupt far beyond the activity of a typical volcano. The Yellowstone caldera measures about 30 by 45 miles, 50 by 70 kilometers, making it one of the largest volcanic systems in the world. It has had three major eruptions in the past 2.1 million years, with the last one occurring 640,000 years ago. Despite its size, <laughs> Scientists monitor it closely, and since it is estimated to have a major eruption every 700,000 years, there is no sign of one in the near future. Recent events in the Biscuit Basin serve as a reminder. When the Earth speaks, even the most seasoned explorer must stop, listen, and respect. <laughs> 